Novak Djokovic's ex-coach, Goran Ivanishevich, recently addressed Janik Sinner's doping test row. The Croat hoped for a favorable outcome in the world number one's case. He also made a remark about people who want to destroy someone's life. Sinner, who tested positive for a banned steroid called Clossibol during his 2024 Indian Wells campaign, was declared innocent in August by an independent tribunal. The Italian was also able to overturn his provisional suspensions after he launched successful appeals. It was determined that Jan Nick Sinner's positive tests were the result of unintentional contamination on his physiotherapist, Giacomo Naldi's part. However, the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, appealed the no-fault or negligence verdict in Sinner's case in September, indicating the tennis player bore some fault in his team's mistake. The WADA issued a statement asking for a period of ineligibility between one and two years. The Court of Arbitration for Sports, CAS, has yet to release a date for the hearing. Amid the prolonged ordeal, Janik Sinner has also dealt with immense online backlash. Novak Djokovic's ex-coach, Goran Ivanishevich, addressed the saga during his recent interview with Sport Club. Ivanishevich, who became the first men's Grand Slam champion hailing from Croatia at Wimbledon 2001, also recalled his countryman Marin Cilic's doping test tribulation. Cilic, the 2014 U.S. Open champion, tested positive for unintentional consumption of nicotamide in 2013, following which he was handed a nine-month suspension. The Croat, who is no stranger to public scrutiny, having witnessed it firsthand during Novak Djokovic's 2022 Australian deportation, sympathized with Janik Sinner and extended his support. Janik Sinner has maintained his on-court focus amid his doping test ordeal despite all the outside noise and online abuse. Janik Sinner has kept his focus on his on-court progress. In a recent interview with Sky Sport, the Italian shared how he has managed to compartmentalize.